everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode we continued the Civil War and we were starting the Balance of Power quest which we uh, stumbled upon accidentally so we're doing it. <laughs> so I forget exactly where we got to with the journals but I think we read the Saints journal right? So yeah because we need to locate locate Kinthal's Saint Bandit Camp but we haven't read the Seducer's journal yet so i think we're just going to start off by reading some stuff a real thrilling start to the episode but a little recap first uh it seems like more of the roadside bandits who call themselves the saints have set up camp elsewhere with their leader the location of their leader's camp was in a note i discovered another group of bandits the seducers are also causing trouble for travelers yeah so okay we read the saints journal i think i probably put that away okay we've got the seducers okay no we've got the saints bandit leaders journal there we have the seducers one and then there were a couple of other, like, extra things. That's Rassad's thing. We've already done that. Notes on the Blacksmith? Did we read that? Yes, we definitely read that. Okay, and then what else? Oh, yeah, we have um, Note on Manic Elytra. We did not read that. We found a buyer for the strange creature we've hauled all the way from... Well, best not say. Not a day too soon, as its chittering keeps waking me up at all hours of the night. Just a few more days. If the coin is worth it, we'll have to go back for more of these things. Okay, and uh, uh, Elytra is back home now. Uh, have we got anything? Ah, Bandit's Note on Hidden Treasure. See, I knew there was something else. Tell me about the hidden treasure. Investigate Crystal Drift Cave. An exotic treasure is said to be hidden in Crystal Drift Cave. Heard it from a coinless trader trying to save his own skin. Going to send a few, a f send a few to see if his story checks out. If the story is true, we need to be sure the saints don't find it first. Our benefactor will be pleased. Okay, so we've got, a, we've got a couple of miscellaneous objectives, but let's read the Seducer's Bandit journal. Just gotta wait, wait for the quest text to move. Okay, great. Dark work this, but does it ever pay well? Once every few days a merchant comes galloping through, defenceless as a babe. We Seducers always do our good deed and lighten their load before we let them pass. It's the least we can do. Moving north was the best thing we ever did. Leaving Rassad, leave Rassad to the milk drinkers of White Run, or as they call themselves, the Saints. They're probably still hounding him on the road to Markarth. Svarig is behind on his visit. I wonder if his path from the west was more treacherous than usual. We need a change in our fortunes. If we don't get paid soon, I fear the others might not stay much longer. Hopefully this new lead pans out. Okay, so we've now got a second leader. Yeah, there we go. It seems like more of the seducers have set up elsewhere. Location of the camp was detailed in the journal. Okay, so we've got two leader bandit camps to find, but we've also got a couple of miscellaneous objectives. Yeah, so we've got um, find Jofton's note on smithing golden and dark equipment and investigate Crystal Drift Cave. So I think actually let's do the miscellaneous ones first. So you can see I'm just in our house as putting stuff away, you know, as, as you do. Because yeah, we had far too much stuff. I did go back to the chest, by the way, and get everything. Uh, and either sold it or put it away. So. Where are we heading for this? This is the Seducer's Bandit Camp. Uh, we've got something over here, which is the Saint's Bandit Camp. Aha! And we've got this. Find Jofton's note. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I think the note said it was near Half Moon Mill, which we have not been to. However, I do know what... You can't fast travel what enemies are nearby. Who is nearby? Who? 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 Who is nearby? There are no enemies nearby. Whoa, whoa, what is this not? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> we do, what on earth is going on here? We've got a Spriggan and a Wolf? Oh, what a strange combination. No yeah, no, no sign of him. Good, good job, hun. I mean, these guys didn't fare too well, are these all hunters? <laughs> wow, yeah, they did not, uh, they did not fare too well at all. We've got, oh no, okay, we've got Bandit here. Okay, I was gonna say, just, like, does the Wolf take you all out? Now we've got some bandits and a hunter. Ah, uh, well, two hunters. Well, only one hunter now. A spriggan. Whoa, what a mess. Okay, can I can I travel now? I was kind of, you know, in the middle of something, guys. Am I allowed to travel? Yes, okay. Back to Knife Point Ridge for the third time. We've been to this one dungeon so many times. So many, many, many times. However, we're not actually going through it today. Uh, which quest marker is the one that we want? <laughs> Uh, that one, I think. Uh, the one to the, 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 the one to the, the most right. Uh, the, the one that's closest to the east <laughs> on the little compass thing. Yeah, whatever. You'll see when we get there. Uh, but yeah, this is, Half Moon Mill is interesting. I mean, it's not really, to be honest, it's just, 
it's just a mill, to be quite honest. However, you do get sent there for a certain quest <laughs> uh, that I won't that I won't spoil right now. Oh, is that is that a vampire? It looks like a vampire to me. She's got um, vampire robes on. I'm pretty sure she's so fast though, and we're out of stamina. Miss, Miss, please. I would like to um, I'd like to have a conversation. What's going on up there? Got a. Where where did she go? Like. Oh, okay, there she is, there she is. I thought she disappeared completely. Okay, hang on, hang on. Woo! Miss! Oh, that's definitely a vampire, I think. Miss! <laughs> okay, you know what? I really want to talk to her. <laughs> so let's just use a stamina potion. Miss! Miss, come back here. I really need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I need to... I've got some very important information for you, uh, which is that I'm important. Yeah, vampire. Hi! This person is busy. Busy doing what? Bitch! I mean, do you, okay. Sure, I, why? Why is there a vampire out in the day just running for her life? I, I mean, I suppose it's daytime, but they don't die in the day in Skyrim. They just get weaker. Okay, well, whatever. I want to go back and see what that shack was. But our quest marker is down here. So if you remember the, uh, the journal said, not the journal, the, the piece of paper, <laughs> said something about, yeah, under the bridge. Uh, near Half Moon Mill, or under a bridge near Half Moon Mill. So, uh, here we go. We have Jofton's Note, uh, two Abidi ingots, 62 gold, three Quicksilver ingots, and a Dwarven Bow. You can keep the Dwarven Bow. That's not my... No, I don't really want to, that to be weighing me down. Okay, where are his notes? Jofton's Notes. Is, I don't even know if that's how you uh, <laughs> say his name. Jofton or Jofton? Don't know. An ancient battle site was discovered near Thorin's Lair. On the ground, an assortment of weapons and armour of the Daedra known as Golden Saints and Dark Seducers laid strewn about. It is from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Since then, as the only blacksmith, I have taken it upon myself to study these otherworldly artefacts. And now, at last, my effort is reduced to is my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship that these great Daedra has finally brought fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help keep the other can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold, as it is far too soft, and yet the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How could this be? The trick appears to be threefold. First, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with refined moonstone. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. Third, the introduction of the heart of a Daedra to the forge when heating the piece so it can be hammered into shape completely transforms the attribute of the metal, giving it its uncanny hardness. For the process for forging the dark armour of the seducers is similar, the pro I can't read today, but requires more finesse as you must balance shaping the unyieldly ebony with malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce the Daedric Heart to the Forge as you heat the material. Okay, and also if you notice in the top left it said uh, like new recipes have been added to your Daedric equipment list. And obviously, so if we go into... Uh, do we have a level up actually? Oh, we do. Okay, so we've got 430 health. So I think we want to put a tiny bit more into Magicka. And then, I mean, probably just health really. We might, I don't know, maybe put a bit more stamina up just for convenience. Oh, we actually have a shitload of perks. <laughs> I didn't even realise that. But yeah, if we look at... Uh, Smithing. I totally went the wrong way there. Yeah, obviously we've only got 17. <laughs> I have not grinded that out yet, but if we go up here... Yeah, Daedric Smithing. Create Daedric Armour and Weapons at Forges. Um, so yeah, that's... Well, obviously we won't be getting that for quite a long time yet, but it does mean that when we do, then we can create the uh, Golden Saint and Dark Seducer Armour, which we won't be doing because it's ugly, to be quite honest. <laughs> However, while we're here, actually, we do have perks, and I don't know why I... Just forgot that perks were a thing for some reason. However, we do have perks, so I would very much like to do more, more, more conjuration. I don't know, I like conjuration and I've never really used conjuration in earnest, I suppose. We can get another summoner, but I think I would like to go up more. So Atromancy, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Double duration for conjured Atromancy. Does that include, because we're going to move over to using the... Dramora Lord now, I think, but they're not an Atronach, so does this include like all summons or is it specifically Atronachs? 
I'm not sure. I mean, surely it would include all summons, right? And Atronax is just a fancier word. <laughs> I would hope so. I'm not entirely sure, actually. I have two Atronax. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it means all summons, so. Let's get double duration for Conjured Atronax, which is not hugely important, but it goes up to this, uh, which obviously we need more. More, more levels for, but I think we should also get greater duration for animated undead because I would like all of these perks, so let's get that one as well. Uh, we will get summoner at some point, but that's not really essential right now. Uh, we're good on illusion, we're also good on destruction at least for now. Restoration, can we uh, get any more recovery? No, not yet, or oh, we're quite a, quite a long way off that for now. I think what we actually want to do is probably go up enchanting. I think that's yeah, I think the next big thing we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to... I mean, honestly, we're doing pretty well with enchanting. We're already at 65, which I still have no idea how the hell <laughs> we got that high when I didn't even try. But yeah, I think um, I'm kind of avoiding smithing, so I don't have to do that all again. <laughs> I've done that so many times. But yeah, I think we need to we need to start enchanting our own gear and stuff. So I think we will put some points into enchanting. So new enchantments are 20% stronger, 40% stronger, 60% stronger. 80% stronger, there we go, and that's as far as we can go, and then we can go up these ones, but I think we'll leave that for now. We've got one more perk left, can we, can we really do anything with that? Speech? Maybe speech? Pickpocket? No, lockpick? No, sneak? Can we, oh, we can go more, more sneak. Uh, can we, what is this? Ah, silence, walking and running does not affect detection, absolutely. I don't know if we'll get Shadow Warrior, because we're not really a primary, primary sneak build, I don't know why I said that weird. I want to go back and see what this shack was before I got uh, got distracted by the vampire chick that would uh, not not let me talk to her. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like Shadow War is really for if you want to re-stealth, but we're not really re-stealthing much. We kind of just, you know, we stealth until we can't, and then when we, when we get caught, we're using, you know, our summons and stuff. And I, I like that build, so I don't think we're really going to need Shadow War. We might, you know, if we've got like a perk going spare. <laughs> We may as well get it, you know, but for now, I don't think we will. I would very much like to see what this shack is. Can I, uh, can we, can we jump up here? It's so annoying that you can't jump properly in this game. What is this? Oh, Hunter's Rest. Okay. Hi, guys. Oh, sorry, I was gonna... <laughs> don't mind that I just, uh, you know, got my sword out or anything. I didn't mean that to... It seems threatening. I mean, do, do you guys have anything? Do you have, like, um... Oh, you know what? This might be a good... I'm thinking there could be, uh, like a treasure map in here? We just, uh, <laughs> going to sneak? Okay, well, I'll take that stuff anyway, but no treasure map? No, I guess not. Okay, I was thinking this might be a good location for one, but I suppose not. There there are quite a few just kind of in random shacks and stuff, I think, but anyway, there we go. So we have, uh, we have the, we have the, 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 what do you call it? The, the smithing notes. Jesus Christ, I cannot talk today. Okay. Uh, we will investigate Trif Crystal Drift Cave, however, first, uh, let's go to Kinthal's camp first, which obviously <laughs> is once again in the middle of nowhere. As, as always, I mean, it wouldn't be a Skyrim episode if it wasn't in the middle of nowhere. Um, but at the very least, we do have fast travel in this game. <laughs> uh, which is something that cannot be said for Oblivion. Not Oblivion. Morrowind. Oblivion does have fast travel, I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Yeah, Morrowind. Morrowind does not, and that is very terrible. <laughs> very, very terrible. We have a bear on our tail, but I don't much care. We're just gonna keep keep on riding. That is a dragon burial mound. Um, it doesn't look like the dragon is coming out of the burial mound, which is good. That's that's how I like my dragons, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I like them to stay dead. Um, I, who is this? What is happening? Don't know, don't care. Got better things to do. Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, would you look at that? It's a werewolf! Or a hunter, but yeah, she's uh, she turned into a werewolf. That is- wow! Lightning! She just absolutely kicked the shit out of her. Oh my god, yeah, I don't think I've- Yeah, you really don't see that very often. I will take, uh, take these pelts you've got, though. Uh. Yeah, there we go, it's still labelled as Hunter. Yeah, it's a Hunter that then turns into a well. That's really cool. That is a random encounter that you do not see very often. Okay, which way are we... Which way are we going? I always get very turned around when I get back on my horse. There's a shrine up there, which is... Periote Shrine, I believe. Ah, uh, we've got, uh... Oh, what is... What dungeon is this? I don't know. This looks like a... A notable one. But it's not one that I... <laughs> 
can remember off the top of my head. Get, excuse me, can I? Can we get off the horse, please? Like, it's literally it won't let me get off the horse. Why? There we go. Th thanks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't letting me get off the horse for a long time then. Oh, okay. Well, we've been spotted. I kind of just want to explore this, to be honest. Like, what is... What's the dealio with this place? Because I don't really... Is this even a location? I don't think it is. It's like, it's not popping up as a location on my map, which is interesting. What does this do? Oh, it opens the door. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't even realise there was a door behind me. That makes sense. Uh, I've got some stuff in here. Yeah, I don't really know what this... Uh, it, I'm assuming it... I don't know, it's either an unmarked... I mean, it seems too big to be an unmarked location. But I suppose it could be, or it could be just kind of the outside version of... Who can see me? Oh, it's probably lightning, to be honest. Yeah, it could just be kind of... Yeah, look, see? Yeah, Blind Cliff Bastion. Yeah, so it, it's like the, it's just an outside... Decor de decorative part of an inside location that isn't a ruin. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, it must be that Blind Cliff... Blind Cliff Cave, what is that? Yeah, I think it must be this cave up ahead we've got here. There is someone here. Oh, there was. Forsworn. Yeah, of course. We are in the reach, of course. <laughs> Who else is it going to be in this kind of area? Yeah, well, I guess we'll just uh, clear this out. Yeah, there's a cave cave icon down below. It must be attached to the cave. Oh, look at this. We've got like a shrine. That's really cool. Forsworn Pillager. Okay, wow, you're actually uh, way more powerful than I thought you were, but obviously we've only got our... Uh, uh, gold brand, so it's not as powerful as the dagger in sneak attack. Uh, is there anything, anything interesting? Not really. I'll take it anyway, I suppose. Oh, false one staff. That's cool. Is that is that unique? I don't think so. Because it, I mean, you can find staffs that look like that. I'm going to take that. Yeah, you can find staffs that look like that, but they just have, you know, they have other effects. And they're just, like, called, you know, staff of frost or whatever. <laughs> What it, oh, that one also opened the door. <laughs> I don't know why I keep expecting them to do something else. I love these uh, things with the spriggan faces on, by the way. They're very cool. Okay, who is... Hi! There you oh. go. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. Bye-bye! <laughs> uh, never gets old, guys. Never gets old. Never, ever gets old. Never has done it. Never will. Ooh, an ebony mace. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. We do need to stockpile gold. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not, like, urgent, but we do, we do need to be stockpiling. Oh, Blind Cliff, Cliff Cave. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go into the cave. What on earth is this location? Blind Cliff. Okay, yeah, no, I, I genuinely, Blind Cliff Cave rings a bell, so I'm thinking it must be attached to something big, and I'm just not thinking of it right now. Yeah, it must be attached to something big, but yeah, I just, I don't know what it is attached to. Because <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Why is it, oh, for God's sake, it's done that, ugh. It's done that stupid ass thing because we went into a Forsworn, a multi-tiered Forsworn location. It's done that dumb ass thing <laughs> with the quest markers where it wants me to go back out like the front door rather than the side door, for God's sake. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We will, uh, you know what, let me set a... Uh, set set a custom marker in that direction. Does that work? Oh no, it's just good. Wait, no. Okay, yeah, the quest markers are just completely broken. Don't you just love that? Looks like we do need to go in this direction though. So, yeah, quest markers. <laughs> the Force One location screw up your quest markers. It's always been a problem. I was gonna say I'm surprised they didn't fix that with anniversary edition, but I'm actually not. I'm not surprised. They should have fixed it with anniversary edition, or you know, special edition, or any of the other. 50 different editions. What is going on with these textures? <laughs> Todd? <laughs> Todd, what have you done? Is it because I went into the cave and I didn't go all the way through? Is that, is that why you're upset with me? Yeah, I think I think Todd's upset with me. Uh, it's, it's because I'm uh, insulting his game and saying he, sh he should have fixed his bugs. But, uh, you know, you, you should have fixed the bugs, Todd. You know, it, just, it is what it is. You know, you've re-released this game so many times and you didn't bother to fix anything. <laughs> you just added some subpar content and, you know, measly graphics updates that weren't even really needed. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough shit talking Bethesda. We need to head right up here and we should be at Kinthal's camp right about now. I think Kinthal, is that is that the Saints one? I don't even really remember. Yeah, we really need some more stamina, I think. I mean, stamina is 
it's kind of like it's a bit of a waste, you know, to invest in stamina. What is going on over here? It's like we've got some drama going down, and I like drama very much. I would like to be involved in the drama. I want Can't your waste swords it. out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no force worn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. These two are, like, literally the same person. <laughs> they got the same hairstyle and beard and everything. Your rock mine be open? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you, I if you want some advice, uh, I would suggest you shave that beard. Um, one of the few native sons yeah, I, I really would. I think land. that would really help. Doesn't make me very um, popular. Yeah, I, I really do think it would help, like a lot, to be honest. <laughs> just, just some advice. You know, you, you don't have to take it. It's just, just, just my two, two cents. You know, since I was passing through. So, I think from memory, yeah, I recognize this little staircase. I think the saints. Yeah, okay, that's a saint. That's a saint. All right, the kinfolk. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got, uh, we've got the quest mark. Oh, that's good. And you know what? You know what? We need to do some summoning. So I said I wanted to conjure the undying ghost in night. So there we go, conjure the undying ghost. No idea what this thing looks like. Oh, is it just like a like a ghost ghost? Just like a Skyrim ghost? Okay. That's kind of uh, disappointing to be perfectly honest. Whoa, okay, that was that was really bad. I got stuck on that rock there. I'm pretty sure that was the sound of the ghost dying. <laughs> I'd be wrong, but pretty sure it was. Like a bite of a flea, eh? Well, what? We keep getting stuck on rocks. I do. I do not. Do not appreciate that. Who's Let's get get rid of you for a minute while we deal with this chick because she is particularly powerful. Are you actually a? Is she actually a golden saint? Look at those eyes. I think. Are you actually a golden saint? Because you know she's not just wearing the armor. She's not just like you know a golden saint bandit. I think she's actually a golden saint like the Daedra. I think so. It's kind of hard to tell because, I mean, in reality, she's tell as like an elf. So if, that, if that's the case, then I think she's summoned. Yeah, yeah, see, she was summoned. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was I was wondering. Like, yeah, there we go. Scroll of Conjure Golden Saint Warrior. Yeah. I was wondering why she was so strong. I didn't mean to take that. What did I just take? Yeah, Golden Saint Helmet. You, you can keep that, buddy. So we have Kinfold's Journal. Uh, Aster Bloom Claw. Sure, I'll take that. Golden Greatsword. We don't have one of those, but uh, it weighs a lot, so <laughs> you can keep that, buddy. Yeah, okay, how is this, uh... I was, uh, is this, is, is the ghost gone? I, I assume the ghost is gone, yeah. Okay, well that uh, undying ghost was pretty shit to be honest, wasn't really much undying about it. Wow, these guys are, these guys are powerful. Are these guys also golden saints? I don't think so, because otherwise they would have disappeared. Okay, well, you know what you get, oh no, I was going to say you get a, you get a Fusro Dao, but actually no, we've, <laughs> uh, we, uh, it has not, it has not recharged yet, so. You know what, we do need to recharge our weapon. Why did I not do that? Common soul gem. Yeah, we really need to. We need some more soul gems. Actually, we do have a, a dagger of soul soul trapping. <laughs> so we should probably be using that a little bit more. You can't win this. Um, I think I will. It might take a while, but I, I will. I will. Trust me. Is that a Yukiji? I don't even know. I don't know why that doesn't really matter. But uh. Bye bye. <laughs> and I don't know if that will have killed him. I don't think so. But the point is. He's on the floor, which gives us the opportunity to finish him off. Okay, what do you have? Golden arrows, 108 gold, not bad. You can keep your other shitty stuff, though. Yeah, more arrows, I'll take the arrows, because they don't weigh anything. We've obviously got the altar there, there was another chick down here. With more gold, lockpick, worm's head cap. And yeah, just, just more shit. Okay. Okay, what have we got here? We've got a black soul gem. A golden sword, we've got some conjure, scroll of conjure, golden saint, archer, and warrior. We've got some cheese, <laughs> which is uh, fitting. Oh, look at that! Yeah, look, we've got the Buster Shea Gorath, which uh, I really wish we could take this, but it's not—it's not an item that we can take, which I think is a tragedy, to be quite honest. But yeah, if you don't know, the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers are uh, the the Daedra of Shea Gorath's realm, um, and they're kind of—you know—they're the they're opposite. They, you know, represent like the mania and dimension, uh, mania and dementia. Oh, and Ebony Shield. Sure, I'll take all of that. We've got some stuff to give to. Tanilia accepts in exchange for some money. Um, so yeah, they're kind of... Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, cheese is uh, related to Shagora, which is a big meme, pretty much. Um, yeah, I think it's actually... So, like, the Golden Saints are... You know, they, they're the ones that look lively and bright, but their disposition is, like, they're 
they're really mean. <laughs> Whereas the dark seducers are, they obviously look dark and brooding. Oh, a bird's nest. Um, but they're actually the nice ones. I think it's been a while since I've played the Shivering Isles, like a year at this point, so uh, I'm not exactly sure. However, what I am sure about is that we need to read Kinthal's journal. There we go. Even though we no longer raid with the backstabbing seducers, we still work for that wizard Thoron. He's been paying us handsomely to turn over Rassad's caravan, looking for any trinkets that seem strange. A week ago, we found a sword unlike anything we've ever seen. Thoron's face lit up when he saw it. This could be it, he said. Something about a bridge? He's probably lost it. No sword is worth how much he paid us for it. Won't hear us complaining, though. We saw Thoron once a month, so, we, so he can have a look at our spoils. Everything he doesn't want, we split and sell. Nice and clean. When we're done, he skulks off back to that lair of his in solitude. What he does there is anyone's guess. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we now know that this that Thoron is in sol- Ah, restoring order. Oh yeah, okay, so we've got like a secondary quest. However, we are not done with this one yet, so... <laughs> Let's locate the second camp. Oh, right next to Forsaken Cave. Excellent! Well, we must have walked straight past it before and I did not even notice, but uh... Hey, that's fine, because we're gonna deal with it now. So, looks like they're right behind us. So, hi boys, and girls, and girls, boys and girls. I don't really mind. Defeat Sparig, I will do that. However, uh, we've also got other bandits to defeat as well. They're summoning people again. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Oh no, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want magic, I want items, yeah. These guys are, these guys are powerful. I do remember them being powerful, actually, in the Creation Club playthrough. Kind of, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you kind of, Really in the way that <laughs> lightning, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, you really uh, kind of block the path there, but sure, whatever. I don't want to actually shout them over the over the cliff because then obviously we need to loot them. Okay, so this guy has a scroll of conjured dark seducer warrior. So now we've got dark seducer and golden saint, and he has a journal as well, which we will read in a second. But what's going on there? Don't even know. <laughs> we have another bandit to deal with. Uh, thankfully, lightning is actually taking his aggro, which is great which will allow us to, uh, you know, circumvent him. No idea what she's doing. Uh, she's just having a bit of a breakdown. There's a snow fox over there trying to get involved. Oh, look at this, we've got a dwarf and spider. Oh, look at this, we've got more dwarven, more dwarven mechanisms out in the snow. That's interesting. Old caravan chest. Carriage driver's note. Is this related? Legends lost. Oh, is this another creation club quest? Kite in helmet. Yeah, I feel like this is another Creation Club quest. Because I certainly don't remember it being a vanilla quest, but I could be wrong. I love that she's just... Uh, <laughs> is chilling. Yeah, she can't really accept that she uh, she lost, you know. Anyway, let's read Svarig's... Uh, was that his name? Svarig? <laughs> yeah, Svarig's journal, and then we'll read the caravan note, I suppose. Just gotta, um... You know, let the text go away. We do need to return to Rasad, though, and investigate the Solitude sewers. Did we know about the sewers before? I don't know. We continue to do the bidding of Thoron, our wealthy benefactor. Though our relationship has taken a turn for the worse, he still pays exceedingly well and continues to ask us to pillage the trade caravans as they pass, searching for anything we can find that seems off or has even a hint of magic. Thoron is a powerful conjurer, but also completely insane. He has become increasingly unhappy with our spoils as of late. I suspect that the vainglorious glorious Saints have done something to gain his favour. We've all become fearful of what might happen if we meet him next month and he disapproves of our spoils. If you ask me, all that time he spends holed up in those sewers has finally turned his brain upside down. He seemed to really like those tongs and rusty calipers we brought him a few months back. All we need is to find the right piece of junk that he thinks will help him bridge the gap he keeps going on about and we'll have a full coin purse once again. Okay, so yeah, if you don't know where uh, Calipers and Tongs are, <laughs> related to the Shivering Isles DLC in uh, Oblivion, which is the best DLC ever, pretty much. This just a... Yeah, just a skull. Okay. What is that caravan note? Lost Legends? I don't even know. Where is that? Caravan... Carriage Driver's Note. Oh, find the second caravan. Yeah, this must be Creation Club. <laughs> it happens sometimes... Uh, it happens sometime after we cross deeper into the mountains, but I swear I could hear singing. Tuneless, very quiet, but singing nonetheless. No one believes me, but I bet my bottom drake that it had something to do with the dwarven machines attacking us last night. 
I've never heard of these things leaving their ruins, let alone roaming the countryside going after travellers. It's almost as if they were drawn to the music. Tonight we're handing the cargo off to the Sadras caravan, and I say good riddance. The captain says we're going to eventually circle back to Whiterun, which means we could see the cargo again. If that happens, I'm getting off this caravan. I don't care about the gold, I haven't slept for days, and I feel like I'm losing my mind. Even now, I can hear that awful singing in my head. I just want it to stop. Okay, what what is that? Dude? What what quest did we just get? Legends Lost. Okay. I have no idea what that one is, but we'll find out at some point. Okay, for now, let's pop back to Rasad. Where is... Oh, yeah, okay, in the middle of nowhere, as usual. <laughs> let's go to the White Run Stables now. I don't know if he'll... Give, I don't know, does he pay us or something? Does he give us money? I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, we can at least sell him some stuff. So obviously he's not here right now. I don't know why they don't seem to set up the campsite half the time here anymore. I don't know if that's just a glitch, because they didn't do that, you know, it wasn't just they started doing that after the Battle of Whiterun, it was very much before as well, so I don't really know what's wrong with them there, but hopefully, hopefully they'll show up right about now, please. <laughs> Oh, of course, yeah, okay, of course, of course, come on, come on guys, I have really good news for you, I've just done all that legwork for you, I've, you know, saved your, saved your business, surely you've noticed that you haven't been being accosted by the saints anymore, and you're just thankless, man, in the Dragonborn is thankless work, I mean, are they even coming back this way? No? <laughs> the thing is, though, if I go and travel to Markarth, then you know that they'll be back in Whiterun, obviously. So it's better to just wait here, no matter how tedious it is. And yeah, we should be able to sell him some stuff, because he is a fence, and we do... We picked up a couple of ebony things. So, Rassad, buddy. Okay, okay, he is making his way back here. Fair enough, fair enough, come on. Don't make me cut, I don't want to have to cut. That's, that's really lame, you know? It's just not cool. I do, um, like... I know it's really silly, but I don't like how uh, everything's kind of broken after the Battle of Whiterun. Really? Come on, man. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know, it makes me sad, you know? <laughs> White Run's like one of my favourite cities. Where are you? Motherfucker. Like, how, how long does it take you to walk that far? I mean, seriously, like, I know you're having to walk across the entire province, but... <laughs> you know, this is a video game. You know, I can walk from one side of the province in, like, five game hours. Why does it take you, like, three game days? That doesn't make sense. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? He like drops the out of the air. Blows bitter cold in this place. That was funny. Where are your friends? Did, are, are they dead? I don't even know, but let's just turn this quest in. Warm sands, friend. How may this one serve you? I've taken care of the saints and seducers. Excellent. And now, please, accept this token of appreciation. 300 gold. Okay. Look. Well, I know how to get some more gold out of him. <laughs> Let's sell him some stuff. Okay, what do we have? We have... Oh, for, oh, Force One stuff. A gout of fire that does 10 points per second. A gout of fire. I feel like that might be unique. I mean, the model is not unique, but the way it's named, I think, is. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, uh, we do... Did we not pick up an ebony... Yeah, an ebony mace. There we go. I know I, know I picked up something. Uh, what else? We have gold ring, silver amethyst ring. Yeah, the ebony shield is too expensive to sell to him. Uh, we do have some scrolls, though. You can just have the, uh, have some, yeah, yeah, whatever. You can have that for cheap. That's fine. Speed increase to 51. Nice. Oh, look, there's, there's the rest of your friends. They're not dead. Okay, well, glad to hear that. So, we now have it is. another, re yeah, restoring order, which is like part two of this quest. Investigate the solitude sewers. Okay, well, looks like we're going to solitude then. Um, yeah, this, uh, this Saints and Seducers quest is way... Bigger than I thought it was, and I mean, we're kind of getting towards the end of the episode, but we do have a few more minutes left, so why don't we open the Solitude sewers? Look at that. I don't know, yeah, this wasn't always a, a enterable location, this is definitely added, so I'm assuming there's going to be some uh, meanies down here who aren't going to like my presence here, so <laughs> we should probably prepare for that eventuality. Looks like we need to go down. However, I would like to explore everything. Is this going to be a barred door? Yes, yes, okay, yeah, it's a bad door. Okay, so that's where we will come out later, I would assume. But a dead skeever. Uh, I mean, I'm glad it's dead, but uh, it's not... Ah! Oh yes, I remember this. <laughs> I remember this. Explore the root cave, yeah. I love, yeah, I love this so much. 
Yeah, I remember what like when we first found this in the Creation Club play. Oh yeah, look at this. We got uh, like green butterflies as well. Yeah, so I mean, it looks like so similar to the Shivering Isles in uh, in Oblivion. Like it's so similar, it's crazy. Uh, obviously, it's better graphics. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just amazing, amazing. They they did a great job with this, and you can see Elytra, which I mean, you can totally tell by that position they're sitting in that they are just reskinned spiders, like frostbite spiders. We've also got all these unique alchemical ingredients, including purple butterflies as well. Oh! Oh yeah, of course, we've got the hollowed stumps. We've got an alocasia fruit. Amber. Amber. Blind watcher's... Oh, blind watcher's eye. That's one of the, uh... One of the oddities from the Museum of Oddities quest. Yeah, blind watcher's eye. So a watcher's eye that obviously can't watch because it's blind. <laughs> That's... And cheese, obviously. Duh. Yeah, okay, we got, um, no, excuse, I want the purple butterfly, yes, which is a kind of a, a strange thing to do, because essentially we're just ripping the wings of a butterfly, which is pretty macabre, <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Oh, okay, and we've been immediately discovered, okay, I mean, I thought we'd, uh, you know, have some, uh, a bit more sneak after getting that perk, but I guess we were just walking straight in the light, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh yeah, we've got Elytra Icor. Yeah, look at this, we've got all the- all- Whoa, 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 no, 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 I don't want that, I want to... Just search the- search the other Elytra, thank you, hi! Yeah, look, and you can see from- see by the, uh... Oh, well, you can hear by the- the sound it makes that they're- they're absolutely just reskinned. Spied spooders, but, uh, hey, that's fine, because, uh... Yeah, the- the biggest problem I have with spooders is that they're spooders. <laughs> And I am scared of them. Death, deathly scared of them. Yeah, so I guess there's- Oh, look at this, we've got a bliss bug! Yeah! Oh my god, I love the Shivering Isles DLC. That was such a great DLC, honestly. Probably the best DLC I've ever played, to be quite honest. I mean, I, like, I personally really love the uh, Dragonborn DLC, just because, I don't know, it's just, it's just my vibe, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at these, look, and these ones, these ones, they're all alike, but these ones are like the Demented Pearl, whereas the other ones were... Whoa, 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 okay, 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 we've got some corrupted spriggans here, Jesus, okay. Okay, okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't, yeah, I was not planning to fight two corrupted spriggans as well as all these little elytras. I thought I just had to deal with them. Yeah, look, see the, the, the demented ones, whereas the other ones are the, 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 the manic ones, so they're different color palettes, and that was, you know, that's just, that's all I wanted to point out, you know, and then they had to go and do that, so. I think now is a good time <laughs> to summon. Oh. oh no! Can I? Do I not have enough magic for this? To summon a Dramora Lord? Can I not? Oh, okay. There, yeah. There we go. There we go. So we got a Dramora Lord. Yeah. Look at. Yes. Oh, you guys are so screwed now. <laughs> you guys are so screwed. <laughs> yeah. Look at my friend. We're gonna have to think of a name for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should run, hun. You, you should. You should really run. Yeah. You're right. There could be no other end. You look so cool. Like look at that face paint. That is sick as hell. I love the design of the Tremora and like with the horns and everything. Really cool. Really, really cool. So yeah, we have a we have a new badass friend. <laughs> they stood no chance once we got him involved. We've got Nalbar. Yeah, see that's interesting because Nals are another enemy in the Shivering Isles, but they've just given it to the <laughs> uh, to the Spriggans instead. Uh, Hiddenum Azure Giant Spore. I don't actually remember exactly what that is. Yeah, I love the Shivering Isles though. I do love the Dragonborn DLC as well, but I don't know, the Shivering Isles just have it has such a charm to it, you know what I mean? It's just, it's so fun and quirky and cool and, yeah, I really do love it. So, um, I mean, yeah, we are kind of at the end of the episode, but at the same time, like, I don't know, this is cool, I want to finish this off. Ah, Scalon Finn, yeah, which is another, another enemy in the Shivering Isles. Uh, obviously we're not actually in the Shivering Isles, but it does seem like we've kind of got a, I don't know, like, Part of the Shivering Isles is sort of leaking into the sewers of solitude, <laughs> which is pretty weird. Not really sure how that happened. We've got okay. This looks like more of a normal cave here, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. We still have a purple butterfly though. Is anyone, anyone in here? Oh, okay. Hi. We've got a another corrupted spriggan. Uh, I don't know. I think our, our friend's about to time out probably in a second. Oh yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to think of a name for this guy, but. Uh, yeah, not not gonna put myself on the spot uh, to think of one now. We've just got a hunter in here. I mean, I'll I'll take the pelts. Uh, you get anything else? No, not really. Okay, well, thanks for the pelts and all. Uh, yeah, I'll take take the goat hide. I suppose. Is there anything anything back here, or is this 
just kind of a, a little extra, like, is there anything up here? I don't, I don't know, like, I don't think we can even get up there, though, so even if there was, that's not particularly helpful. Okay, it's kind of just seems like a little, little side thing. I mean, there's, like, literally nothing back here, as far as I can tell, so that is kind of a waste of time. But hey, whatever, let's keep moving forward. Yeah, yeah, I mean, even if it's, you know, I think we can extend this episode a little bit. Why, why the hell not, right? This is so sick. <laughs> Who wants this episode to end? I don't, because I want to explore everything. Yeah, see, and there we go. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, it's disappeared. I was just a normal watcher's eye in that one, as opposed to a blind watcher's eye. Um, anyone? Anyone else through here? We haven't been here before. Any more enemies? I see another bliss bug. See, like, what's this way? There are so many different passageways. <laughs> and I like, you know, I want to make sure I explore all of them, you know? I don't want to miss, miss anything. See that? See, it's like... From what memories I have, I feel like this does loop round. Okay, we've got a Spriggan there. You just a normal Spriggan? Oh no, no, you are a Spriggan. Oh, she looks more um, you look more green. You look more green than your other than your other friends. So I thought that she was maybe maybe a normal Spriggan, but no, I guess she's corrupted. Uh, maybe maybe only partially corrupted, like in the law, obviously for gameplay reasons. That doesn't actually matter, but I don't know. Do, like, do, do they turn more and more orange? The, the more corrupted they get, I don't even know. Is this kind of like the way out sort of thing, or just a, I don't know, it's just a chest, I guess. Just a little uh, treasure treasure hunt, but also if you notice the the ruins that we're kind of going through, along with the the cave, they do actually resemble the ruins that were in the Shivering Isles, <laughs> which is really cool. Yeah, I do think they do, you know, I'll, people give Creation Club a lot of shit, and rightfully so, to be quite honest. But I do think, like, it, it, this isn't too bad, you know. Like the actual quest content, okay, yeah, meh. It it is kind of kind of meh, you know, average. But the I think the effort they put into all of this, creating all these new assets, and it does actually look like from the Shivering Isles, but just with better graphics. Like they they put a lot of effort into that, and I I appreciate that, you know. <laughs> I like that it, it looks like it, you know. And even though I didn't play Oblivion growing up, it still kind of gives me that you know kind of nostalgia feel of, oh, you know, it's it's like it's like from Oblivion, you know, it's so cool. I don't know why that Elytra had a silver ring, but hey, you know, they won't be going home to their wife anyway, so who the hell cares? <laughs> that was a bit dark. Oh, okay, well, we've got something going on up here. What's, uh, what's been going down here, guys? Because there's, yeah, we've got, okay, so we've got some golden arrows. And, yeah, just more golden arrows. Okay, I thought it was going to be also some seducer arrows. So we've got some dark seducer armor and golden arrows so it looks like uh kind of oh uh, no we've got golden armor as well i was gonna say kind of looks like the golden saints won that battle but maybe not maybe it wasn't as cut as, cut and dry as that yeah just some more armor take the bliss bug oh is this a is this a note yes it is my back is killing me carrying all this loot back to the camps thoron says the gear is better than anything a blacksmith could forge Remnants of an ancient battle between the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers themselves, he tells us. Still, I have my doubts. What a wizard! What's a wizard to know about stopping an ebony arrow coming at your forehead with a poison tip and a full gust of wind? Plus, it don't look right, and it don't feel right. Still, the boss swears by it, and if I call our great leader a liar, I'm a dead man, come morning. Still, if he asks me to bring one of those creepy-looking bugs back for him, that's where I draw the line. Oh, which is funny, because they actually did do that. But, uh, hey, th those bugs belong to us now. And it is interesting that obviously, you know, the ones in here are hostile for enemy purposes. Hi! Yeah, okay, yeah. That's that's what I thought. You know what? You know what? Meet my, um, meet my friend. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like him. Uh, he's just a, he's just, he's not really a typical person, you know? He doesn't get on with people very well. Um, but you know, he is, a uh, he, he is very, uh, he's just, he's just very forthright. Yeah, he's just very forthright with his opinions, that's all. And look, she's she's more green as well. I wonder, actually, that does actually look unique. I think they may have, yeah, I think they may have recolored them specifically for this dungeon. So they're kind of like they are corrupted, but they're like manic corruptions, I guess maybe. Maybe I'm just making that up, and they're always that color. Who knows? Got some more stuff in here. Nothing particularly exciting, but some more stuff nonetheless. Anything else? Nope. Okay, let's keep going. I would very much. I don't know exactly how big this is, but I would like to get to the end in this episode. Oh. Okay, well that looks like the end to me, and that also looks like an excellent thumbnail, doesn't it, guys? So, uh, why are you, why are you naked? 
Well, probably because this is a Tuesday, Gorath, right? And that is Gorath. Okay, got a, got a weird ass helm. Oh, actually, I know what helmet that is. Oh, yeah, I know what helmet that is. Whoa! Where? What is? What is happening? Why can you? Why can you teleport? I didn't know teleporting was a thing that you could do. Or it's, it's not something I can do anyway. And I, I don't know. I feel like that's unfair. You know, like if you can teleport, then why can't I teleport? You know, I feel like I should be able to teleport. I really want to kind of avoid the golden saint because yeah, she is she is powerful. Honestly, wow. Yeah, this store run, this store run is powerful. I feel like we need to up our defenses a bit. So let's get some healing potions. Uh, we have. Yeah, we don't have any resist, any resist shock potions. That's a shame. I suppose we can resist. Yeah, why not? We'll just take a resist fire potion, just for shits and giggles, I suppose. But you know what we can do? We can poison gold brand. That that's good. Okay, let's let's give that a go. Let's. Oh, oh okay. He's disappeared. Excellent. Yeah. Just love that. Oh, and he summoned a a dark seducer. Oh, he's also doing that magic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Freshly killed. <laughs> yeah, freshly killed, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's kind of how I thought it was going. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're just going to gonna pop back here a second. We're going to re-summon this guy. We are then going to buff up our magical defenses, because clearly this guy <laughs> is a problem. Uh, we've only got oak flesh, but I guess we'll cast it anyway. Because why not, right? Uh, and then we will put Goldbrand back in this hand and... Uh, oh, I guess we can go with elemental square. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think we're. I think we're good. Let's. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh. Okay. Well, I want to try and get sneak attack in there, but never mind. I suppose. Oh, you know what we should do? We should also poison our blade. Uh, ASAP. Let's get. Uh, oh, we got mystic venom. Five points. To, yeah. You know what? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not? He is using magic. Oh, and he's disappeared. Isn't that? Isn't that lovely? Don't you just love it when that happens? Oh, that's actually not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, I was gonna try and heal, but no, no, we don't. <laughs> we don't have healing, so that would that would explain why I why I didn't heal. Because healing isn't in that hand. Can you actually cast a spell? Oh wow! Oh no, you're just a yeah. I mean, she's Thoron's golden saint warrior, but she is just a golden saint warrior. Um, okay, yeah, we kind of just <laughs> ruined our own. Uh, we we kind of just destroyed our own summon there, which is a shame. She is about to absolutely wreck us. See, how does this guy have more than one summon? He must have the the, the cool perk for the, you know, people who can summon more than one thing. We don't have that yet. Can I actually hit you with my sword? I can't even get close to this. Oh my god, he is so powerful. Why? It's giving me flashbacks to that motherfucker who was, you know, in our house when we were trying to get the, 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 the mana. Oh my god, that was so difficult. Man, you're clearing me out of healing potions, buddy. I don't, I don't really appreciate that, you know? Like, where even is this man? Like, how does he keep? How does he keep teleporting? It's not fair. And why can't I even hit him? Okay, we need to. Yeah, you know what? We need to conjure, conjure our Dramora Lord again. Let's use, let's use magical potions. Magical potions. Let's just use loads of them. Excuse me. Thank you. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I actually didn't mean to shout there, but uh, sure, whatever. Don't get me stuck. We're actually like going backwards, which is. I'm not even sure where we're heading. I really need to... I need to get to... Oh, okay. Wow. She's... Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what we have? Oh, you know... Oh. Oh. Well, you know what? <laughs> Two can play at this game. If you're going to summon... If you're going to summon a warrior, I'm also going to summon one. And, you know, funnily enough, I'm also going to summon a dark dark seducer just because I think I'm funny, you know? Uh, like, oh, wow. You've got two for... Fuck's sake, man. Look, we need to we need to kill this man. And like now. Look No, don't He healed. <laughs> How dare you bitch die 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 Oh my god You did good though. You did good though, hun. Look at her eyes. Look at how beautiful she is. She's so beautiful. Look at those beautiful like the the the, the blue eyes, but they're like, you know, a greenish blue, like like a teal colour. Beautiful eyes. Okay. Man, that was that was a really difficult fight. <laughs> a really difficult fight. Oh, look at this. This guy has hearts of order. Uh, yeah, so, so many oblivion vibes. Love it. Oh, look at this. We've got Conjurer, Dark Seducer, Archer, Dark Seducer, Warrior, Golden Saint Archer, and Golden Saint Warrior spells. 
He's got a whole load of journals. Madness Helmet of Recovery, which is what I thought it was. Oh, and the Ring of Disrobing. Oh, yes. Yes, of course, that's another Museum of Oddities thing, which obviously it's a ring that when you put it on, it disrobes you, so it takes your clothes off, and that's also why he's naked. Okay, and he's also got some journals, and of course, it says to retrieve the sword of Jigalak. However, we are going to do that. We'll read his journals and everything. Don't, don't you take it, Missy? Yeah, no, don't, don't you take it? That's mine. Yeah, we will do all of that. We'll look through all of this in the next episode. So for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.